Hey y'all, this is a quickie. We're about to get right into it, see what messages your person has for you today, okay? This Sunday. All right, remember this is a powerful week that's happening. We have the 7-3 um, full moon energy with the 7-7 seven, seven portal, okay? With the holiday energy coming through. Like, this is a very powerful, beautiful time for you, okay? Um, this is a very lucky, blessed time, uh, good fortune. You could be seeing a lot of sevens, okay? That's because luck is on your side at the time, so you should feel lucky in order for you to be able to create the things that you've been trying to manifest for so long, okay? You want to bring them into fruition now, all right? And your spirit team got your back, you're protected, you're safe, you're loved. It's nothing nobody can do or say to stop this and allow the haters to hate. You know what I mean? Allow, the, allow people to do whatever they need to do. Whatever's out of your control, if it's not in your control, you let it go. Okay? Whatever's in your control, then you do what you have to do. But anything that you can't control, you know, there's no point of stressing about it. And if you are upset or angry, if somebody can irritate you or rattle your spirit, then that means there's still some healing that needs to be done. And when you are upset, then it just means simply that you're out of alignment with the present moment. So get back into alignment. You get what I'm saying? It's not to say that the feelings won't come and the emotions won't get high and intense, especially with this full moon. Maybe go buy some water, go swimming, you know, take a, take a bath, soak in a tub, you know what I mean? So that you can embrace these energies with positivity. Versus the negative side of this full moon, okay? My memory of you haunts me and keeps me thinking about what could have been. Being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. Okay, so they letting you know like things have been very hard. We were just too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me, okay? That's why they made the choices. They were in low frequency. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. I miss your beautiful smile and your joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. I couldn't go against my family to be with you. Okay. That's why they went with somebody that was... Some of them could be married. Some of them could have children with, with a karmic partner. Um, some of them, fam some of them, their family is karmic and set them up with whoever this karmic partner is. Um, so they just couldn't go against, you know, what they thought was right at that time. But I guarantee they feel differently now. That's why we got, it's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. I miss your beautiful smile, okay? I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more, okay? They telling the truth now, you know? It hurts to see online that you moved on with your life. I want, I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from my love for too long. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustrations on you. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. So maybe still a little bit of ego there, or that's, that's what's been kept in, keeping them from you this time, okay? My heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know you lost faith in me. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. Okay? All right. So basically, they letting you know right here, right now, that they miss you. They're in love with you. They they can't take it no more. They need to reach out to you. They know that they made some messed up choices. It was due to family, friends, or, you know, whatever they were going through at that time, you know, and they made the best decision for themselves at that time. You know what I mean? And it may have hurt you in the process. But I feel like now, overall, this person has been healing and loving themselves and working on themselves and getting that ego in check, okay? Because their heart is open. And the more you operate from your heart chakra, the 
the less you operate from your ego. Okay, what else you guys say to close this up? Divine Masculine. I hope y'all been having a wonderful weekend, okay? And hope y'all have a beautiful week coming up. Let's see what's going on. What's going on, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. All right. We're going to leave it at that. I'm going to pull some of these out. Look, manifested, manifested success and soulmate. So for some of you, this is your soulmate. Some of you are, are on a high-level soulmate connection. They think of you often. Some of you, you're on a twin flame journey, okay? And this is your twin flame. They know that y'all twin flames. They understand what that means because they've been looking it up, okay? This person misses you, wants you, want to be with you. Sorry if you couldn't hear me. Um, um, if you can't hear me, you know, very well, you know, I suggest you put on some headphones or something. But um, hopefully you can hear me better now. I did have the mic facing the other way. Um, I apologize for any inconvenience, you know, because I know that you want to hear your messages. And I thank you for being patient with me and riding this thing out with me. Look, ready or not, here they come. Ready or not, here they come. Please forgive me. So they're coming back. They're asking for your forgiveness. You know, they know that they did wrong. They made wrong choices, okay? But they're trying to manifest you. Like, they're thinking about you often. And the more they think about you, the, the more they build the momentum of manifesting you, okay? Just breathe. Take a second to empty your nose. Hold, one, two, three. Exhale, slow. Do that about three times or as many times as you need. Please be gentle. Please be gentle with yourself and your person at this time. Look, we got distant future. Okay, so something is happening in the distant future. Look, they feel like you're sent from heaven. You haven't sent. Yes. Yes, the answer is yes, if you've been asking, okay? Look, engagement. So if you've been wondering if they're going to propose to you, Spirit is saying just breathe because yes. But please be gentle and be patient with this situation. Look, I can't make this up. Engagement, and they want to marry you, okay? They want your forgiveness. This is the person you're going to marry. Leaving behind karmic people, places, and things. Let's go divine masculine. Let go of the past. But I feel like this divine feminine too, leaving behind um, people, places, and things that no longer serve. Look, big, big changes ahead. Big changes are happening. The answer is yes. Every time I do use these cards, both of these cards come out. The answer is yes, and we got a yes. So that's double confirmation. So just breathe. Allow this to happen. Some of you, this is going to happen in the distant future, Okay. Um, but not too long, all right? Falling in love. They're falling in love with you, okay? Moving in together. Listen, ready or not, here they come, okay? They leaving behind the corner, people, places, and things. This is what you've been praying for. This is what you've been trying to manifest. And now it's here. You're manifesting success. You're, you're successfully manifesting everything that you want, including your person. Look, they're planning a surprise that always come out, too. And naughty thoughts of you, that definitely always come out in strength. So inner strength, finding that inner strength to, you know, reach out and to communicate their feelings. And some of them, you know, they may not have been able to communicate their feelings because growing up, they never, you know, um, they never were allowed to. Some of them never had the green light to, you know, depending on their upbringing to, you know, express their emotions. A lot of men, especially, were taught to suck it up, don't cry. Men don't cry. You know, men couldn't show their emotions. And then when they finally did show their emotions to a female, they may have gotten hurt. But we got goal getting. We got goal getting. And we got be patient. I'm ready. Love you. Get grounded. Ascended Masters helping to bring you two together. They're on their way now, so prepare. Okay? Be strong right now. Just breathe. Quit worrying. 
and be patient with yourself and your person because everything is working out, okay? Everything is literally about to happen. They want to make love to you. Mm -hmm. We already know with them naughty thoughts. They cry over this connection. Thinking about you. Massive growth. Yes, this person is stronger. This person has grown more than you know. They have healed a lot. I feel deeply connected to you. Love is in the air. Please be patient. So that's double confirmation on patience right now. You are their favorite. They think about you all the time. Look, think they think of you often. <laughs> Soulmate and manifesting success. Y'all, I promise you, this is happening for y'all. And all you have to do is just be patient. Just surrender right now. Allow Jesus to take the will, okay? Allow Jesus to take the will. All you got to do is just cruise. You ain't got to do much right now, all right? But just continue to focus on yourself. Stay grounded because it's all happening for you right now. You deserve it. You worked hard for it. You've done a lot of healing work. You've done a lot of inner work, inner standing. You know, had to unlearn and relearn so much stuff, okay? And I'm proud of you. Regardless if you choose religion or spirituality. Now, I know on this channel a lot I may have spoken about, you know, my opinion on religion. I feel like it's man-made. And I feel like spirituality is a part of your um, divinity. And we were taught that divination is bad when actually it's you getting back to learn your true self. I feel like religion is more so to keep order or structure. And, and spirituality is free. You get what I'm saying? But I don't judge nobody, you know, for what you choose to believe in. Long as you believe in that it's a higher power, baby, listen, whatever makes you feel, feel better. You know, when the time is right, all the answers will come to you, okay? When the student is ready, the teacher appears, okay? <laughs> so say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.